Well, as we continue to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today, we are showing you how his message is inspiring tomorrow's leaders. So, Caden was awarded from the mayor this just recently. He is winning for tomorrow's leaders. In fact, first place. So, Caden is with us this morning. Caden, I know it's early and it's a day off, but for many of us, it will be a day on, a day on for service. And it's wonderful to speak with you today. Here. All right. So, tell me a little bit about this essay contest. What made you enter it? Uh, I entered it to show what Martin Luther King impact had on me, how he impacted my life as an African-American child. Talk about that, because this is something that a lot of times we'll learn bits and pieces in school. Our parents will then fill in the blanks. Who really influenced you as far as learning more about this history? My mom. Your mom? Yeah, so did she sit you down at a very young age and, and explain to you why he was so important, especially in black culture? Yes, she did. Do you remember um, what it was that really inspired you to write this message? The I Have a Dream speech. The I Have a Dream speech. And do you have your essay with you? Yes, ma'am, I do. You do? Okay, do you think you can read just a few lines to kind of share what motivated you? All right, go for it. Let's hear it. What is hate? Hate is a strong dislike towards someone or something. We as people stumble upon hate too many times to count. As hate spreads, we feel our nation's freedom slowly being stripped away. As hate abounds, one could become its prisoner. This can evolve into an imprisoned mindset, diminishing the light of compassion through the darkness of hostility. Kaden, that's amazing. So you have to know this, Kaden just turned 11 years old. Uh, that was beautiful. And I think it resonates with so many of us now where we're, we're trying to speak more love and not hate. So tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? An aerospace engineer. Oh, okay. So you also could do some, some writing as well because clearly you have a talent. You know, when you think about being 11 years old, that means you're in what grade? Fifth. You're in fifth grade. What would you like to say to young people your age so that they stay motivated and positive and continue to learn their history? Well, keep trying to learn. If you don't try to learn, you're not going to soak it in. Amen to that. And keep practicing and memorizing. I love that you memorized your speech as well. So congratulations to you. Quite an honor being awarded first place for tomorrow's leaders from the mayor. So we're going to watch you through 6th, 7th, 8th grade and see what happens because I do believe you will be that aerospace engineer and also maybe a writer somewhere in there. Yeah, keep thinking. Big dreams. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome.